Hey everybody, welcome back to the fourth video in this series on how to use SynthEdit. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can control the volume of our synth and talk about volts, an integral part of how SynthEdit works. First off, we want to be able to control the volume that our synth is producing. To do this, we use a VCA, or Voltage Controlled Amplifier. Delete the patch cord between the Moog filter and the I.O. mod. Right click, Insert, down to Modifiers, and select VCA. The VCA has three input plugs here, Signal, Volume, and Response Curve. The sound source goes into Signal and is passed through to the output. Connect the output plug of the VCA to the output plug on the I.O. mod. The volume parameter can be controlled and adjusted through the volume plug, so let's add a volume knob. Right-click the project window, go to Insert, down to Controls, and select Knob. Connect the output plug of the knob to the volume plug of the VCA. Let's rename the knob to Volume so we know its purpose without needing to follow the patch cord. If I push play, now I'm able to control the volume. Now let's look at how this works. SynthEdit is modeled after modular analog synthesizers. A modular synthesizer is a type of synthesizer consisting of separate specialized modules. The modules are not hardwired together but are connected with patch cords to create a patch. The signals are voltage signals, and SynthEdit has voltage signals just like analog synths. Each of the controls we've added output a certain voltage based on the controller's setting. These output voltages can in turn set other modules parameters. In the case of the response curve plug on the VCA, the setting you choose will affect the relationship between the input voltage and volume. If I add a list entry module and connect it to the response curve plug, I can change the response curve and show you what I mean. When set to linear, the volume will drop off at a specific interval, and when approaching silence, it will appear to unnaturally fade out too fast. If using an exponential response curve, as the volume approaches silence, its fade will slow down and sound much more natural to the human ear. The same amount of volts are being passed from this knob into the volume plug, but the response curve is telling the module to affect the volume differently according to those volts. That pretty much covers everything for this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next video in the series. Thanks for watching.